Hey everybody, so this week we're playing Miami, and last week we just beat Notre Dame, and it was a close game, but it was really fun, and we are going to be playing, uh, I'm not sure how good Miami is, let's check and see how good they are. Uh, <clears throat> they are not a good team, but that is actually the scary thing. I've lost against really bad teams and beat all the really good teams, so... That means that actually maybe I need to respect the bad teams a little bit more. Maybe I get too careless with them. So we need to make sure we don't take this. We need to make sure that we do uh, give a little bit of respect to this team and not just assume we're going to win. Miami is going right down the field on us, uh, even with bad offense, because my defense is terrible. And they get a touchdown. So they go for the point after and get it. So we are down 7-0 to zero already. Of course, that's... You know, nothing against our offense, just our defense is terrible. Well, Ohio State goes for the touchback as the ball goes into the end zone. All right. Sage Stroud is lined up. He snaps the ball, looks for somebody to get open. Does a quick throw over to Marvin Harrison, of course, his favorite target. Two missed tackles, three, three defensive players missed, and Marvin Harrison is gone. No one's going to catch him. He's running down the field. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he... Runs in, touchdown, Marvin Harrison for 75 yards. That is something he does quite often, really long touchdowns. And it's very well known for that now. All right, two points. So we have an 8-7 to seven game. This is going to be a good one. And, of course, Miami goes right down the field on us again. There is no stopping them. Touchdown, they're going to go for two, but they do not get the two points, so that helps a lot means it's just a five-point game right now which and again they kick it into the end zone which gives us a chance to do a touchback I'm actually out to 25 yards which helps a lot they're in rushing <clears throat> the Miami defense is in rushing formation so immediately CJ Stroud snaps the ball throws it quickly before the Miami defense can rush them and gets it to Vuka as a first down and getting close to midfield Miami defense is rushing again they seem to like that strategy hasn't been working too well for them though Although it did that time. They're doing it again. They, I guess if something works, just keep doing it. So, so you shout snaps the ball quickly, throws it, gets it to Stover, and it's easy first down, 20 yards. And they are, they are on the Miami side. And CJ Stroud snaps it again. Oh, but he gets sacked this time. All right. This is going to be a long situation. Second and, th and, second and 16, so that's a long yardage. Situation. It's hard to make up that many yards in one play. Oh, that was a bad throw. It didn't matter, though. It was still caught by Marvin Harrison. That was supposed to go to the middle of the field, and hand slipped and went down to the bottom of the field. They're rushing again. They love rushing. Not going to do me any good, though, because they left Stover wide open, and he runs in, dives, gets the touchdown, 26 yards, and Ohio State is on top again. They answer the points that Miami scored. See, going for two again because that's what Ohio State likes to do in this game this season. Mainly because I cannot make the kicks. All right, well, did not get the two point conversion. So we are only ahead by one point, 14 to 13. It is now the third quarter, and Miami kicks it off. Ohio State gets it at the five. They're running it back. Marvin Harrison gets around the edge, gets out past the 30. That's a good return. They're rushing again, of course. That's what Miami's been doing all game. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It worked that time. Uh, in a rush, CJ Stroud threw it too far. Looks for someone to throw it to. Throws it to the running back, who is the backup running back, and really slow. <laughs> but it makes it a short yardage situation. Miami's got everyone lined up to rush again. Quick throw over to the tight end, Stover, who runs down the field. This is going to be a long gain. It's a 30-yard gain. That's most of the way down the field. They're rushing again, so surely someone's going to be open again. Stover is ready to go around the edge. And actually, Buka gets it, the wide receiver, and he's going to get a touchdown. Touchdown, Ohio State. That's going to bring Ohio State up to 20 points. They're going to go for two again. It's going to be a quick throw to the middle, and it's caught by Buka again, the person who scored the touchdown, and we are up to 22-13. to 13. This game is going very well for Ohio State. Everything's gone right for us. And Miami has actually done well, but in fact, they I think they might have scored every time they had the ball. In fact, they did. 
but they failed to get one of the two point conversions. So that's why are they that's why they're behind. Like they may have actually failed on two two point conversions. Wow, Marvin Harrison gets a really good return almost all the way down to the forty yard line. If Ohio State scores again, they can probably put this game away. Especially if they don't score too fast. If they, uh, but they might score fast here. Stover runs down the field. Defense is struggling to catch up. They do catch up just three yards away from the end zone. What is Ohio State going to do here? Let's see, CJ Strauss snaps the ball. He holds onto it. Runs back and round, trying to use up a lot of clock. This seems to be a common thing done this season in order to survive. Run <laughs> as far as... That was about as much time as I can use up there. All right, going to try to do that again because I need to desperately use up more clock than that. Do the same pattern. All right. If I can score here, it'd be hard for them to score twice in such a short amount of time. So I think I'm safe now to go ahead and score. Ohio State is now up 28 to 20, and with a score here, it would make it 30 to 20. And perfect throw to Marvin Harrison, and it's 30 to 20, a 10 point game in the fourth quarter, and Miami is not able to score again, so Ohio State wins by 10 points. All right, that was fun, and we are ready to move on to the last game of the season. We're going to get to see how the season wraps up, and it looks like I'm actually going to be able to go undefeated from the last time we had that defeat after three losses and we get to finally hopefully make it all the way through the playoffs to get to the national championship again like we do with alabama that'd be so exciting but all right next week is our rematch against michigan the team that beat us earlier and i am really excited to take them on so watch next time as we take on our rival for the big rematch game and rivalry rivalry <laughs> rivalry weekend all right, I'll see you then.